give a shout out guys to Antonio and Kevin from T3 Techno Toy Tuning. You guys want some good parts for your A86, your old school Toyotas, Datsuns, check them out. Technotoytuning.com out of California. This gold piece here is the rotor hat. If you look on the front, here, it says hub face. This means the hub is gonna go to this side here. The rotor is gonna be mounted to the back side. Lining our rotor up. Note, they come with lock washers. Thread lock, make sure they're running up freely. Crisscross. And now we're gonna torque them down. Technotoytuning.com provides some instructions. I want to go to their website, 24 foot pounds. And note, this is step number one. So I'm going in the recommended steps. Insert my screwdriver here in the vein to stop it from spinning. Place the rotor assembly with hat onto the hub. Align holes and install the four 10 millimeter bolts with lock washers. Torque is 45 foot pounds. On a T3's racing hub, it's a light hub, but it also has the option for going four or five by 114.3. So you can either go four lug or five lug. And that's why I went with these. T3 already presses in the races. It comes with this rubber seal, and that's for the cap. In the package here, with the bearing scum, note there's an extra rubber seal there. Just in case this one here gets damaged or worn out, you'll have this extra one to replace it. Hat to hub. Note these also come lock washers. Run them up with your hand to make sure the threads are free from any obstruction. Front coilover for AE86. My car had RA64 Celica set up on it, so I'm switching it back to AE86 to go with this new brake kit. And I also got a very important spindle nut and this castle hat. Next step, gonna install these bearings. The grease that I'm using, guys, get some, pack it in your hand, and you can start forcing it down in there. Yeah. It fits perfectly on my seal. come with AGX KYB inserts and they're adjustable. You have four settings right there. Uh, the kit comes with a small flat screwdriver so you can effect the change that you want with your ride. On the caliper bracket, this is for the Willwood caliper. The smaller is the back. This recess right here, this will facilitate the hook. You turn it slightly upward till all four holes line up. One, two, three, four. This is the bag you need. Forty-five foot pounds of torque. That's our bracket right there for our caliper. It should go inward. Alright, so the rotor is gonna run right here. The brake caliper is gonna be mounted here and over the rotor. Our next step is going to be mounting this assembly. We're gonna shove a little more grease down in there. Make sure you center it up as much as possible so you don't damage the bearing or the seal with the tip of your spindle. Now onto your small bearing that goes on the front. This is a special washer. T3 provides this washer with their kit. The conical part goes down find the slot and then you set it in. Spindle nut.
There it is. These are the Willwood calipers that came with the Techno Toy 2 and then Big Daddy Break It. They take two bolts and now it's time to mount. The lock washers, I got some red Loctite on it. These bolts guys are a 16 millimeter. These take 35 foot pounds of torque. Birdie lines I bought from Techno Toy Tuning. This comes with the full set for the car, it comes with five of them. You are not able to use these on the Willwood Big Daddy Brake upgrade. Disconnect your brake line from here, 10 millimeter wrench, because if you disconnect it here, you won't be able to turn it. Disconnect it first. This is ideal before you remove the retainer clips. One on the bottom, one on the top. All right, guys, turn a clip. This is the top one. Both of them are important. I'll lose them. All that's holding it right now is up top. This hole right here is the one that they widen. You have to oval shape this. So this is a stock A86 knuckle that they converted to make the Celica RE64, RE65 strut fit. And that's why I'm changing this out. Cotter pin, castle nut. While using stock A86 lower control arm, you're gonna need to modify it in order to use Technotoy Tuning's Big Daddy brake upgrade for it not to interfere with the rotor. billet knuckle very nicely crafted so let's see okay we got 833.2 grams and this old one 657.4 so the old one is actually lighter this new knuckle here from techno toy tuning it's thicker <laughs> Just now I had to turn these around, take them out. Uh, they were set 
to the outside like so this pushes it further away so I had to turn it around like so this one and this one I had to turn around this way they'll fit into the stock RCA position it has the RCA has three position so depending on how you want to run it this is how you line up the holes that wood about two and a half three pounds and this is about 48 49 pounds three pounds from 49 46 pounds what's that dad this is my old suspension mm -hmm. hey dad you know you can use that spring to make a robot So our new setup, approximately 40 pounds minus the two and a half, three pounds wood block. So the weight difference is about 10 pounds, guys, with the whole setup, comparing that old one to the new setup. It's more heavier to get on when it's assembled like this, but I wanted to show how it was outside of the car, fully assembled. So removable dowels in the steering knuckle change the orientation to allow it to be used on more than one of the old school Toyota. So the inserts that's in this knuckle, you want to switch them around so your RCA will slide over that. Make sure your suspension slides on a dowel and then you're catching your bolt. There's an assortment of bolts that T3 provide. Uh, for my setup, I'll be using the longest ones with the lock washer. This here is a bag of bolts. Here you can see where I cut the control arm front and back and the side to ensure that when it's turning, it won't touch up on the lower control arm. We put on the wheel as a mock-up just to check the clearance. Now that we install the Technotoy tuning components, the Big Daddy brake kit, the light racing hub, coilovers, the gold RCA, the billet steering knuckle, and the tie rod end. We check the, with the wheel to ensure that we don't have to use any wheel spacers. Running our 16 inch Panasport z Light racing wheels. The only thing that we had to cut was the lower control arm. 